Name, please. Hi, I'm Nick Furman. Which party are you trying out for? Uh, uh, RRR, the Nacho Nacho sequence. Thanks. We'll let you know. All right, thanks. Hey film friends, I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be reviewing RRR. If you're new to the channel, our format is simple. We'll start off with a quick synopsis. Then we'll move into some likes and dislikes of the picture before analyzing some of my own original themes and conclusions that I find inside of the work. For those of you who know the deal, feel free to skip all that and use the timestamps in the description below. And of course, as always, Please stay to the end to get our FOF rating out of five stars. Without further ado, this is RRR. Let's start with the plot of RRR. Well, IMDb says the following. RRR chronicles the fictitious story of two legendary revolutionaries and their journey away from home before they started fighting for their country in the 1920s. But is that really what this one is all about? Eh. Well, let's see. There's a missing tribal girl who's taken away from her family and village by a mean English governor and his snooty wife. This sends a beam who considers the girl his sister after her in secret. But there's also this other Indian cop who has his own complicated backstory. And he vows to capture the man for the governor. The only problem is the two finally meet and everything changes forever. Okay, so let's get to what I liked. There are so many things. Honestly, guys, this whole journey just blew me away. RRR is a three hour epic with total maximalism. I mean, this baby is doing everything. It's flying in and out of genres, historical epic, bromance, buddy comedy. It even has little hints of a love story from different cultures. And we should say, these are two of the biggest Tollywood stars ever. So picture an epic film with, say, Leo and Tom Cruise. Or, I mean, given the genre, this is like if Arnold and Stallone got together in the 80s, only they could move like freaking gazelles. So big names, great performers, a total kitchen sink approach to story and genre, and a score that is incredible all the orchestral pieces and all of the different musical numbers. But then to top it all off, this film has like three of the most epic sequences I've ever seen. One guy fights a horde. It's like the 300 without all the ripped abs and crushing aesthetic of Zack Snyder's grayness. Or some Greek tale like Horatius at the Bridge. And this isn't CGI'd to death either. There are real crowds of actors and extras surrounding him as he's battling his way free of the mob. So mm, what can top that? How about a man outrunning and outsmarting a tiger? Yeah, it happens. And soon we've got a True Lies style bridge rescue using a motorcycle, a flag, and a horse. But this all gives way to the most remarkable sequence of them all, the dance off. I could feel my receptors tingling when they were dancing the nacho nacho. Like I said before, completely blown away. But here's the craziest thing. I've only just described the first 90 minutes. We're only halfway. We still got a 10 minute meet cute between these two dudes through sing song. There's just so many moments where you're like, oh, they're not gonna go and then do this obvious thing, are they? And then, yep, they did it. And I'm still all in maximalism. So we're 90 minutes in. Sure, let's just do a background origin story with the great rifle battle, because we can. That kind of fearless spirit in RRR just moved me time and time again. Okay, so let's move on to a couple of my dislikes from RRR. Well, you probably guessed it, but there's zero subtlety here. Everything is blown out. In the entire picture, there's not a single moment of irony, really. 
Every moment is 1000% achingly earnest. And because of this, the film is often archetypal. The good guys are only really good, and the villains are, well, quite bad. Beyond that, we need to get into the nitty gritty a little bit here. There are so many sequences with animals, and quite frankly, you can tell that all of it is CGI. But on the other hand, they're also performing these Herculean feats. So the animal CGI is poor in spots, but really there are just logical absurdities all over the place in this one. It's hard to discuss these in detail without spoilers, but suffice it to say, these two best buds have a little falling out. And what happens to them when this occurs would, um, change their relationship. Even so, my biggest complaint of RRR, there is way too much slow motion. We get it. It's epic. And now it's time for some of my own original thoughts and some themes from the film. I think it's important to note that this is the most expensive Indian film ever made. So scale, that's an important word to remember here. The insanity of the action, staging, and choreography is just top notch. But thematically, this is hero's journey stuff. It's not particularly complex or all that novel. It's about friendship and betrayal the triumphs and tragedies, the changes a man goes through on the path towards his goal, and the ways that hidden aspects of our main characters are slowly revealed to the audience with greater clarity and detail. Another great aspect of this movie is its hilarious takedown of colonialism. It's about toppling imperialism with only the power of friendship. The big bad in this picture is never these two men, no matter how crazy the stuff is that they do to each other. It's always England and this condescending, bigoted treatment by these caricatured blowhards. Okay, let's just take a step back for a second to get my final thoughts here. Journey back with me to 2009, when Slumdog Millionaire came out. That was a moment for us when we realized that there was this thing called Bollywood and that they made five times the amount of films a year that they do in the United States. And now we're seeing Tollywood cast its own spell over us. My point is, this is cinema to so many people in the world. When we're talking about movie magic, RRR has the goods as much as any US blockbuster I watched this year. So what do we conclude? RRR is a film where everything is on 11, a picture that gleefully takes a giant dump on American superhero film. Make no mistake about it, these dudes are superhuman. And you want to talk about origin stories? Here are two of the best character introductions I've ever seen. Then, let's just face them off. But you know, we would never let them get away with this kind of thing in the US. We'd decry it for not being subtle enough, for just being too open-hearted. Some indie publication would call it fake, or say it lacks the ambiguity of the real world. <coughs> what I'm learning is that they tell stories differently in India with ending dance numbers and athletic filmmaking. Only here, the bravura filmmaking is in service to a fable with real depth and feeling, a unique way to deliver an epic saga. And after three incredible hours, I felt privileged to be a part of that world of cinema. Well, there you have it. The only thing left to discuss is our rating for this film. FOF gives RRR 4.3 out of 5 stars. If you enjoyed this review, please let us know by smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. You can also hit that little bell so you get notified every time we release a new video. And please don't forget to go check out FermanOnFilm.com where you can explore our blog in depth and catch some reviews, deep dives, and all kinds of new content. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Furman. This is Furman on Film. Stay firm, my friends. <laughs>